Welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of unit fractions, specifically how we can use geometric shapes to identify unit fractions, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So first, unit fractions represent one part, just one part, and they have to be congruent. If the parts are not equal, if they're not the same size, same shape, then you really don't have a fraction. But unit fractions represent just one part of a whole. So you've got six squares on the screen. We're just going to, for this first example, just use a few of them. Let's say we wanted to split one of these squares in half. Well, if I wanted to split in half, I could cut it in the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. And you see I've got two unit fractions. One, because our numerator is always going to be one. I've got one half. So what I've done is I've made two triangles. But what if I take a line, or what if I cut it right down the middle like this? Well, guess what? I have also created one half. And what you'll notice is that each of these squares are identical. So I can make one half pieces even if they are different shapes. This one half piece right here is the same as this one half piece, even though one is a triangle and one is a rectangle, because they both represent the same amount of the exact same square. It wouldn't work if the squares were bigger or if one was a rectangle, but it's kind of hard to see that they're both one half because they're different shapes. What you could do if you really needed to is you can cut some parts off the triangle and you can kind of put it on down here and you can end up making a rectangle that looks just like this. Also, if you cut it sideways, it's also going to be one half. As long as the shapes are congruent, same size, same shape, it doesn't really matter what the shapes of the unit fractions are. They're all going to be equal. Let's look at a different example. So we are going to look at a different unit fraction. We're going to use the same squares, but instead of cutting them into half, let's try cutting them into four equal pieces. So one way to do that would be to use two lines and to cut them into smaller squares. And so I've got four unit fractions here. They're each one fourth. But what's a different way that I can make this square go into four equal pieces? Well, you can cut in half again, but instead of going horizontally, your next line could cut your half into half. When you take a half and you cut that into half, you get a fourth. And so now I've got four long rectangles. And these long strips are each congruent, and they each represent the amount of space right here. This one-fourth is the same as this one-fourth. Even though they're shaped differently, they're both a unit fraction of the exact same square. And you can kind of imagine if you take this particular rectangle and you cut it in half and then you put the two sides next to each other, you would get those two. You would put those two together, you would get that square. Now what happens if we were to do this? We're not even going to do a quadrilateral anymore. Now I can create an equal one-fourth just by making two diagonal lines. And so we are going to have an equal one-fourth right here. I'm going to shade this in. This is equal to the other. It's the same unit fraction, but now these are triangles. What if I were to do this? I'm going to start with this line down here, but now... I'm going to make some long and skinny right triangles. And now you see we've got this, but once again, it's the exact same square cut into four equal pieces. And it's my unit fraction. Remember, my unit fraction always has a numerator of one. That's the top number. It represents just one piece. Always has a numerator of one. So this particular long right triangle is going to be the same as all of these other shaded pieces. And finally, what if I were to do this? I'm going to start like this up again, but if I could take my triangles and I could just make them go like this, it ends up being the exact same triangles as the other one. It just looks a little bit different. But all of these are one fourth. Let me shade this in right here. This is going to be equal to all the other one-fourths because they are congruent and because they each represent the unit fraction of one out of four pieces.